everybody, my name's Ruth. Welcome to our second Adventurers at Home. Today's session is called Me. Let's get started with our special Adventurers chant. So jump up everybody and join in with me. We're going on an adventure. We're gonna have some fun. What are the clues? Who will we meet? Let's get started! We're going to get started with a craft activity for you to try at home. We're going to make a photo frame like this. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a photo or a picture you've drawn of yourself, a piece of card, some pens, some glue, stickers if you've got them, a hole punch and a piece of string or wool. Now, the first thing you need to do is to take your picture of yourself that you've drawn or a photo and check that it fits the piece of card that you've got with a bit of space around the edge. When you've done that, you need to put glue on the back of the picture and stick it on like this. All the way around and stick your picture in the middle. There we go. Next, use your hole punch to punch some holes in the top. If you haven't got a hole punch, you can always just stick the string on with some cellar tape. Then take your string, thread it through the holes, like this. You might need a grown up to help you because it's a bit fiddly. And then tie a knot in the two ends. Very slippery with this ribbon. There we go. And then it's ready to hang up. Next, we're going to put some words on the bottom. We're going to write, God knows me and cares for me. And that's taken from Psalm 139, which is what we're going to be looking at in our story. You can either write it on or get a grown-up to help you. I'm just going to write mine on now. God knows me and cares for me. Psalm 1, 9. And that's in the Bible. So when you've done that, if you've got some stickers, you can stick some stickers around it. If you haven't got any stickers, you can just do some decorations with pens, but I'm going to use stickers. Stick some stars on. Like that. And some gold ones as well. And there you have your finished photo frame ready to hang up somewhere. Right, now it's time for our hunt challenge and we've got an active one today. So reach up high, crouch down low, give yourselves a stretch out wise. Brilliant, challenge one. Can you hop across the room like this? See if you can do it. So challenge two, how long can you stand on one leg? Ready, steady, go. Hold it, it's quite tricky. Oh, I'm getting wobbly. Brilliant, how did you get on? Hope you did as well as me. Challenge three, how far can you jump? Make sure you've got plenty of space before you try it. Here's how far I can jump. Ready, steady, go. How did you get on? Did you jump as far as me? Inch four. Can you do 15 star jumps without stopping? Let's give it a try. Ready, steady, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, I'm all worn out after that. I think it's time to sit down and see what's in the rucksack today. Now, 
Because of everybody staying at home, Eddie and Rebecca can't be with us today, but I've got another friend for you to meet instead. His name is Smudge. Come and say hello, Smudge. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you, Smudge. What have you been doing at home? I've been jumping on the trampoline, making cake, and watching TV. That sounds like lots of fun. Have you been doing any schoolwork? Yes, but I don't like it much. I miss my friends. I know. It's really hard not seeing friends, isn't it? But it's important to try and keep your brain working if you can. Let's look in the rucksack and see what our clues are today. Great, what's the first clue, Ruth? Oh, let's have a look. Oh, it's a mirror. You see yourself, Smudge? Yeah, I look amazing. Very good. Okay, let's see what the next clue is. Oh, do you know what this is, Smudge? Is it an alarm clock? I think you're right. I need one of those to help me wake up in the morning. I think there's one more clue. I think, oh, it looks like it's a picture smudge. Can you see what it is? It looks like a baby to me. I think you're right. It is a picture of a baby. There's just one more thing to do. And that's our word for today, smudge. Do you know what it says? Care. That's right. Can you read it at home? It says care. Well, that's all our clues. I think we need to look, have our story and see what they all mean. Jenny's going to come and tell us our story today. Hello, adventurers. It's really nice to be able to be with you all, even though we can't actually be together. Our Bible story today is taken from the Old Testament in the Bible. Here's my Bible, already open at the right place at Psalm 139, but I'm going to tell you the story using pictures. And the, the Psalm is all about God who knows everything about us and loves us and cares for us all the time. You might be able to join in with the story because I'm going to say the same words after each sentence. And I'm going to say, God knows and he cares. So shall we have a practice at all saying it together first? Here we go. God knows and he cares. Right, so now then, shall we start Psalm 139 with pictures? Here we go. When I go out or just stay at home, God knows and he cares. When I stand and walk upstairs, God knows and he cares. Wherever I go, whatever I do, God knows and he cares. If I get up to see the sunrise, God knows and he cares. If I'm up late and the dark scares, God knows and he cares. Before I was born, God knew I was there. God knows and he cares. As I get bigger, God watches me still. God knows and he cares. Isn't it amazing to think that God knows everything about us, he loves us and he cares for us. And even at this strange time where we're stuck indoors, he knows and he cares. Well, Smudge, did you enjoy that story? Yes, I did, Ruth. Isn't it amazing that God knows all about us, that he sees everything that we do and is with us all the time? Yes, it is, Smudge. God made each of us and we are all special to him. He's looking after us even when we're stuck at home. That is so cool, Ruth. Next time I miss my friends, I'm going to remember that God is with me all the time looking after me. Like it said in the story, Smudge, God knows me and he cares for me. Now we're going to talk to God and say thank you to him 
because he made each of us special and different. I want you to think of something you're good at. Can you think of something you're good at at home? Have you thought of something, Smudge? Have you thought of something at home? We're going to say, thank you God that you made me and then you're going to add in the thing that you're good at. I'm going to go first, then Smudge, then your turn at home and then we're going to say Amen at the end. Thank you God that you made me good at making cards. Thank you God that you made me good at giving hugs. Now it's your turn at home. Brilliant. Let's say our big Amen all together. Amen! Fantastic! Now we're going to do our special adventurous prayer and you can join in with me at home. Thank you God for our adventure and all we've learned today. Help us to do what you want. Look after us until we meet again. Amen! Well, it's nearly time for us to go, so let's do our special adventurous goodbye chant. Join in with me at home. We've been on an adventure. We've had lots of fun. We've solved the clues. We've made new friends. Time to go home. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this Adventurers at Home session and we hope to see you again soon. So it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from Smudge. Every day we ask so many questions. What should I wear? What's the weather going to be like? How am I going to fit everything in? But then there are those bigger questions, like why am I here? Where am I heading? Is there more to life than this? I think for so many years, you know, I always just strived to be strong in myself. All I needed was me and my buddies and, you know, we'd be like invincible. But the truth is, none of us are. Alpha is a place where you can be yourself. You can say what you think and challenge everything. No, no question is too complex or too simple. And what your point of view is, is as important as anyone else's.